nothing new to the channel. Got a seat to put in the car. And today, we are at the Josh Bird Memorial, which was uh, which is a good friend of mine that got killed here at Bloomington. So, uh, here's the 04 car. Jerry continues to race because he's awesome and he loves racing. And I think Josh would be so proud that they continue to do this and uh, race in his honor. So, looks like he's got two cars there tonight. Pretty cool. Josh used to always paint his tires. You know, that's something he always did. He always, he always wore uh, different colored socks too. He didn't care. So anytime I don't have matching socks for my kids, I always think of Josh because I just send him in mismatching socks and it's okay. Well, gotta put a seat back in this thing, so I better get back to work. So, I'm always putting my seat in because, uh, well, I might have pissed a couple people off and I haven't got my seats back. And I only have six seats total, two are midgets, four are just kind of roaming. I should say three are just roaming and then I have this one. So, I uh, had to yank it out of this car to run Circle City and then pull it right out of that car to put it in this car. So, I'm going to get this thing back in the car. Okay, so we got the seat all done. Got my got my crash pad in there. The belt's all through. It's all bolted up. Got my steering wheel. Uh, my crew chief is not here. Steve Peck is my crew chief. He's not here. My car chief, Drew, he's not here as well. So I went ahead and re-blocked the thing just to start from fresh so I know exactly what was put in, what wasn't put in. We had kind of discussed it, but my memory sucks. So uh, my, my buddy Chuck, he's always around and Lee to help out when we need a hand need a hand on on whatever I'm whatever I am driving so uh, they're doing stagger right now and I'm gonna go draw back at the draw I forgot money and my wallet so I didn't have an ID in case you didn't know you have to give them your ID just to, to go race because they want to make sure they know who you are probably not that's not why so did you ever think there was gonna be a day where you were gonna be sitting here and Ethan was gonna be doing the work on the race car never did I, it's scary it's I'll, I'll introduce you to ethan it's it's a scary thought really but he's doing a good job ethan lee and that's chuck when the ambulance is here it is go time and so it's time to fire it off
lap we were group qualifying and I got stuck behind a slow car. Just, I thought I gave him plenty of room, but I caught him right away. They gave us two, I feel like literally two laps to qualify. And uh, I caught him on the first lap. So we're, we're gonna start deep. Probably third, fourth row even, maybe. So I don't know, killing some stagger, uh, just cause it's definitely had to dry up. So that push truck driver, here's the uh, here's the camera that was in between my legs. That's what we got left of it. So uh, at least I got it and I think it still works. Should be interesting to see that footage. Oh, buried myself. Uh, we end up seventh in our practice group, so I start seventh in our heat. And it's a USAC heat. You got J Mac, you got Stockton, uh, Bilby. I mean, it's it's got some good people in there. I think the the 11 car Bochamp. So uh, got my work cut out for me. So hopefully we can go forward. If there's five heats, there's only three out of each heat. So if that's the case, I really really got my work cut out for us. So we might come out of the B tonight. But hey, that's how it goes, man. Uh, excited to be at the racetrack even when you suck sometimes. Brand new tire. Looking at the track, being out there, it looks like it's slicking off. I start seventh and I think they only take three. So I don't have a whole lot to lose here. So instead of leaving the car alone like I thought I was going to, I pulled some stagger out of it. I pulled the right rear end an inch. I thought I might need a little bit of left rear drive left rear drive, so I put a half turn in the left rear. But I took a half out of the left front, which should put another half in the left rear because if you take out of the right rear, it gives you left rear. Um, so I don't have a lot of experience at this place, you know, and uh, you know, it seems to like to turn good when you have split in the front. I don't know how I know that. I just practice laps experience, I guess. So, uh, hopefully we go forward and transfer out of this. Otherwise, we're, uh, we're set to hit the B main. Do I need a quarter good? Yeah, that'll work. Let's go. Do I need a quarter or money? So I need all the luck and uh, gonna get a little bit from this dude. Thanks, guys. What's up, dude? Home of the free.
and change the left front bar. Put a stiffer bar in it. Hopefully stick the right rear a little bit better. So I ended up with a little bit more stagger than I wanted to. So to compensate, I just moved the left rear out a half inch to try to tighten it up uh, by moving it out a little bit. You know, sometimes you come to the racetrack and you know you're gonna do good. And I really thought we were gonna do good tonight. And now we're kind of buried in a B main. But uh, you know, it's it's all about Josh tonight, the memory of Josh Burton. That was my homie. And uh, you know, I'm just pumped to be here at the racetrack racing, living my best life. Um, and hey, thanks for watching Team Ez TV. I hope you're living your best life. Get outside, do something, have some fun with it. Just never know. They turned the lights off to do fireworks and now they can't get the lights back on. Do you think, Drake York, it's a good idea to park cars in the infield, point lights on the track and go green? I've seen crazier things. So my dad at Chowchilla back when that racetrack existed, the same thing happened. They shut off the lights to do like fireworks and they mounted flashlights on the down tubes. Oh, well that, no yeah. thank you. Crazier no, thank thing, you. I've, I've heard of crazier things happening, but I never thought I'd see it. Well, so that's where we're at right now, okay? We might be putting flashlights on the down tube so that we can see out there, says Drake York. Voice of USAC. So when was the last time you raced with cars shining the lights on the racetrack? Never. Never, never, that's a first time. And he's a Kinzer, you know, he's been around probably and done some shit, so, um, yeah, I don't think I have either. What do you think of the turnout here? It's pretty fucking awesome. Um, Win, win. Win, win. Oh, yeah. Don't matter where I'm doing the race. Yeah. I'm, I'm already happy. Yeah, it's awesome turnout for a great, great event. So, pretty excited to be here. Very, very, very happy to see you here, man. Thank you. Thanks, buddy. Usually sneak off the gas city over there. I know. I know. My car owners. Yeah. yeah. Our Bloomington car owners. feature out of the B but the track is real real slick so put a six off on moved it in I softened the right rear bar just a half we had a half bar in it and then uh, I kind of swapped I had a bunch of right front in it and uh, man it just really wasn't sticking the right rear and I don't have anything to lose we started super deep so I went ahead and took a turn out of the right front and I put two in the left front. So, uh, you know, it's kind of scary when they give me the wrenches and the crew guy isn't here because then I can just do whatever I want. And, uh, you know, we kind of just, I thought it really wanted right front to give me left for a drive, you know, and, and so, but we weren't that great. We weren't terrible in the, in the B, but want to be better. Don't have anything to lose. We're starting deep, so. What 
so it is almost 1 a.m. in the morning. Look how adorable she is. And they are pushing off the feature for the late models. And then the midgets go. So I plan to run the bottom, but on the start, this dude shoves it in there, kind of moves me up a lane. And I get stuck in the middle here. Make a little bit of ground for a second, but it's Bloomington, dry slick. There's just really not a lot out there. than it was in the B, so uh, we're all loading everything up though, so I still gotta get my apparel trailer. And, uh, but yeah, hey, thanks again for watching Team STV. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Some nights I feel like a carny. You know, we're, we travel from town to town, put on a show, and uh, we're here, I mean, it's 2.30 in the morning and uh, I'm just waiting to hook up my trailer so I can go home to my kids.